Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with, uh, I think this is part 8, or part 7 or part 8 of our uh, Holy Roman Empire campaign, I'm pretty sure it's part 8. Um, this will be, uh, yeah, this is like the last part before Christmas, and uh, yeah, this is a, this is going to be uh, an interesting one I feel like. We took Poznan in the last episode, and uh, we're probably going to go on and take Strauss and get rid of the Poles once and for all. Retake the last Imperial territory that is uh, rightfully ours, and then we can go on for Pomerania as well that will be uh, a very nice little addition to uh to the empire and then well i don't know really what we need to do i mean we're kind of in a really strong position uh, i could obviously go and take out all these electors um i could go and take like silesia out but there's no real need there is nothing really left for me like to conquer almost i could go and unite like the empire and stuff like that that is also possible but there's like there's no real need really uh, a lot of electors actually do like me though um but apparently I need support to confirm permanent uh, prince electors. I need 12 out of 18. Jeez. Um, I am surprised. Put it like that. I am surprised. Uh, but yeah, we will uh, we'll end the turn. I mean, look at our economy. Our economy is doing amazing right now. Um, yeah, we'll end the turn and we will see what we can do, I guess. And uh, oh, we need to sign a provincial governor, apparently. Okay. Uh, we've got Taskmaster, no, you're good for uh, armies, if we ever get any. Oh yeah, by the way, someone pointed out in the uh, last episode, which is kind of a little bit funny, we have a uh, guy called Adolf, and he's, a g and he's a general. I don't know why, but that just, apparently that's a, a funny little coincidence we've got going on there. I, I think it's going to have to be in, none of these are actually really good for uh, um, for really garrisoning. I could actually make her Heribut here a, uh, like a... Uh, someone that's pretty good at governing. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's just put Heribert in as uh, my Greater Poland uh, governor, I think, for now. And uh, we will. We could try and find him actually a marriage. I just realized Heribert could marry. Um, let's put wealth and growth in. Let's see if we can, yeah, find this guy a marriage. Maybe Austria. Be most I think he's like my bastard child or something like that. Oh, Austria don't have any children, but they could give me money for a non-aggression. So I'll take it. Oh my gosh, how much money are they willing to give me? Right, there you go. Uh, Hungary, I'd really like a marriage with you. Welcome, welcome. Or just anyone, to be honest, that you know might have family. There we go. Heribut, what's this? Personal influence, corruption, no while husband requests. is governing. So we can't use that, really. I'd rather have... Um, I mean... Yeah, Francesca would be very good, but Rosa would be preferable, which is Harridan, so she's not going to have children. Oh, she is. You have children, but they'll be illegitimate. Well, I mean, Harriet's an illegitimate child, so that's always an option. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Uh, again, no children for, from Genoa, but... Okay, very well. I'll just take 1300 off you. I know that's still high, but I'm not really too bothered. I've got so much money, it doesn't really matter. Your people's reputation... Scotland, we can now see. I didn't even realize welcome, we could see these guys welcome, now. Um, Non-aggression pact, yeah. Oh, also, the reason why I found out, uh, someone mentioned that the reason why I can no longer trade with England is because I lost Mecklenburg, lost Stralsund, so I can't, I no longer have that, uh, like, trade route to, uh, like, England. So that was like, oh, I was like, fair enough, that makes sense. Um, the day's greeting she does. To uh, Poisoner, yeah, Speak. we'll use her. You Let's see if... As the ear of the uh, wow, they actually did not want to give me... I'll give you some money. I'll give you a little bit of money for uh, for your wife, Martha. There you go. I'll pay some money, and Heribert has got himself a uh, a wife now. I'm pretty sure. Wherever he is, there you go, Martha. Excellent. Right, and then we can end the turn. I don't need the money anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, defensive alliance, Scotland would like. Uh, yeah, there are defensive allies with England. So I was, I did actually just think for a moment, did I really want to do that? Uh, Flanders defensive alliance, yeah, let's do that. I mean, I'm getting loads of defensive alliances here. Look at this high. I'll get some money out of you first, pal. Thirteen hundred. No, apparently not. Um, eight hundred. There we go. Can say, I mean, they'd surely say yes. Like, any amount of money, they'd be like, yes, please, we want to be allies again. See, I've got lots of allies now, and I'm probably in such a strong spot that I could go on and just do anything I wanted now. I may go and declare war on the Danes, I don't know. I'm, I kind of thinking we could wrap this campaign up a little bit quicker. There's not really, like, I anything I really massively want to do. Military alliance. Again, like, I could go to war with all these people. 
I guess I could try and uh, get all the, uh, go down all of the, um, like the uh, political things like the, the empire has. I could try and go down a few of them anyway. Uh, infant mortality. Oh no, that's a shame. Uh, uh, there's blocked the promotion there. You're starting to starve. Let's put you into gar uh, into a like fortress because, like someone said in the uh, in the comments as well, make sure you like to avoid like that happening. Uh, like not starvation but uh, desertion to put your men into fort. Then they'll actually replenish. Uh, certainly if they're in friendly territory, like this. Saxony has got a uh, had a population growth, so I guess we'll put in. Um, I Oh yeah, I was going to put in a church here, I think, because uh, I didn't like how much Catholic Christianity was dipping. Um, I guess I could put that in. I mean, I could then get some Templars. I don't really need it. Um, town barracks? I could go down to town barracks. Urban Axe Militia. Actually, that doesn't really like bring ma much in that I really need either. I, mm, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go with that Catholic chapel. I'm bringing it could do a bit more Christianity going on in the world. You see, Catholic Christianity is massively going up there again. I think that's because I've got my priest here. Just chilling. Doing something. Yeah, Catholic Christianity could do get, uh, being put up in Braunschweig. For certain. Poznan. Looking okay. Uh, I guess Christianity is doing pretty solid here. Yeah, it's Baltic pagans that we've got to face there. Uh, Kingdom of Connaught we can see as well. You at war with England. Yes, you are. Come there. Uh, I'm not really too interested in doing anything with you. I'd rather stay on England's good side. Welcome, welcome. I'm strength friend. ranking 18, but I'm probably arguably number one in the world the because I have so groups. many allies. I'm gonna just get another one here. Look at this. Pisa's gonna be my ally now. They love me. Okay, not quite that much, but they'll love me if I get if I ask for 1800. Look at that. They love me. Um, Hail. and then I don't even have like. Yeah, there we go. Non-aggression with them. Military access. And now Sicily loves me as well. And I'm just forcing everyone around me to love me bit by bit. You will find me a willing and attentive Bologna. For your speech. Give tongue to your words and I'll just I take the thirteen hundred off you. Look at that. And people love me. You will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. This is just getting silly now. Uh, it's just kind of stacks on one welcome. after the next. Your words will find an and I think if I get allies with most of these people, this is probably a very easy way to then do stuff here. Which I can actually now do. I can pass this reform. So confirm permanent prince electors. There you go. We've done one reform. Um, we're now moving on to imperial diet as the next one. And I have no imperial authority to do that just yet. So I don't know how I'm going to get more maybe. Well, I'll take Strauss and that will obviously massively help. Um, I probably will strike next turn when the winter has subsided. Uh, I could actually grow this metropolis. Yeah, why not? Um, I've got the money to do it. Why not? And then we'll end the turn. And we will see what happens in the world. Military alliance, Scotland ones. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, can't hurt. Just don't go to war with England. Defensive we alliance. Yeah, sure, Austria. I mean, we were once enemies, but I mean, that was my father, Otto. He he did not like you all. He felt like you were all traitors. I am Jürgen now. Jürgen, the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And uh, he's a bit more merciful. Otto, he was a cruel man, you see. Uh, I'm that with I expect some sort of payment, Upstall Boon League. And you yeah, I'm us. sure you do see benefit for our friendship. Oh my gosh, how much money do you have? I'll take two grand off you. No elector deserves to have that much money. It should all be with the Empire. And they've united against me of Denmark. Okay, and have Sweden after we just made a marriage. Right, well, maybe we do have some wars to finish off then. We do have some wars to finish off. I could strike. Hmm. Okay, this is just a, a little sneaky party. Okay, there's literally nothing there. Let's just go and attack it by sea. Alright, and then I'll send this guy back. I honestly was just going to go and see. I actually, I could have attacked him from... Ah, damn it, I could have just attacked outside the city. But... I should be able to attack these guys next turn and just take the city, I'm pretty sure. Strauss and Love has, like, no garrison. I can take that. 
And uh, yeah, that will be that will be my city, Stralsund, and then we'll have uh, I don't know how much how much imperial authority I gain. I get a yeah, little bit of turn. Um, like I could do with holding a little bit more, possibly. Uh, it's, yeah. So I mean, the growth's going to go up slowly, but nothing like majorly. That's a bit of an issue, but we can live with it. I could increase slots, but I just don't know really whether it's worth it. If anyone else has done it, I don't know if it like like crashes the game or anything like that. I'm really not sure. Or if it makes it unstable, I'm really not sure. And I don't want to risk it. Uh, I guess we'll go down cunning tax rate. Give me more money. We're making four grand a turn now. Um, I think that's all like through trade and... Well, I also have a pretty stable economy. I, I remember when we were in the red. How far we've come... Uh, military alliance. Yeah, sure. I could just ask these people to start joining my wars thing. Oh, Denmark's bringing a stack over. I might not be out of the <laughs> out of the uh, danger just yet. Denmark's thrown an army through my lands. I'm going to try to see if some of my allies want to join the war. Like, I'm surprised Denmark's bold enough to even attempt to, like, join. Uh, they want me Perhaps to join the war. In your wisdom, you yeah, might sure, I'll join the war against Norway. We respect strength. And they off, yeah. All these people are like, yeah, do you want, like, military access? I'll give you a thousand pounds for it. Yeah, sure, I'll take a thousand. A legitimate birth. How dare you? And apparently, this could be a toughie. Not really sure seeing where the toughness is going to happen. Hmm. Maintain the blockade for a moment. If I bring this army over, I don't know if that's really going to help. There's only two more units. I could do with sending this guy all the way back to Breunschvig, really. Or we could build it. Can we build another army? No, we can't. We still can't even build more armies yet. Jürgen is ready. Look at this guy. He's good in a fight. Good looking. I might not stay forever if he goes into a fight. Um, but yeah, he's pretty damn good. I mean, we're not going to make him a governor. Because he's unsure about the afterlife. Uh, and he despises treacherous Westerners. So he's very good against Europeans, which we are fighting a lot of at the moment. Um, but yeah, surely we're close to actually to like having three armies. Eh, a little bit more. A little bit more, possibly. Uh, actually, I've had an idea. I'm going to break this. Break this Siege of Stralsund. I'm going to go for Rocks Clyde up here. Oh, uh, let's just let's just pull back from that. And go up here. Can I just can I just move up? Thank you. Yeah, look at this. I'm pretty sure this is just for the taking. Yeah, I'll just take their capital. See if they then want to make peace. They're starving here. Um, and then I'm... Oh, wrong one. I would like to see if I can get some of these people to join my war. Uh, I can arrange marriage as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Join war against Denmark, please. Low. Oh, what if I put a marriage in there? Offer a daughter. Oh, see, that's high. Okay. And then I'll also ask for some money. Yeah, there we go. And they're in my war. And then my target is that army. Go and kill them, Brandenburg. You're my, like my mad dog. Uh, and then join war against Denmark. And, and then I will pay you a handsome prize. Oh, apparently it's going to need to be a lot. Even then, oh, okay, it's not worth it. It's fine. Breunschwick should be able to hold on its own here for a long, long time. Uh, Wittenberg's doing its thing. Frankfurt's doing its thing. Poznan. I guess I can put in a bigger farm here, but I've got so much money. I've got nothing to spend it on. We'll go and take Rocks Clyde, uh, Ros Clyde up here, which is basically Copenhagen. And then we'll come back for Stralsund. I want to see whether the Poles will make the foolish mistake of um, moving out. Uh, Milan won an old military alliance, sure, yeah. Uh, and the Swiss won a military alliance, yeah. And Bohemia wants military access, yes. Oh my gosh. People stop off, like, asking for stuff. Norway's... Going through my lands. Oh, the Danish aren't even... Where the heck are they going? They're causing more attrition on themselves. I'll put it like that. I could do with them in that second army big now. It's It's got... We have the money. We could build that army up uh, big time. But it's got to have to be done there because uh, Pomerania otherwise is going to come sweeping in and take it. Peace Poland want peace. 
forged between men. You, is buddy, could only have peace if you became my vassal, which is uh, a no. Oh, here they come. They. Oh, you're kidding me. Of course. Of course you are. Are you actually in range? Uh, you might be in range. But not if we fight you. How many men do we have? Uh, yeah, I, I reckon we could win that fight. I'll do that in a moment. Could I get peace with you first, though? I don't really want to fight you, Pomerania. Do not waste time. No, I didn't think so. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go and take... Oh, I... Hmm. I say that. Could just go and take out the poles. I'm going to turn around and take out the poles. Now that their main army's gone. Fools. It's mine now. Occupy. Yes. And the poles are starving. Rightly so. There we go. Rebuild all of that. That's going to take... What is it? That's not a fort. We don't even have a proper castle here. God damn it. Um, integrity. And then... I'm going to put in authority. There we go. We could do a lot more replenishment in that army, really. Um, I really wanted to go down physician, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want to get that going. Commander. I think we could win this fight if we play it right. We could win that fight if we play it right. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. And can I build anything here? I can actually build stuff. Could build some stuff. Uh, what would I want? Maybe some sergeants. I'll put some sergeants in for now, but I honestly might be changing them out. I'm going to probably replace these Urban Axe Militia as well with Axe Sergeants. Just because they're so much better. So much better. Um, Yeah, everyone's targeting that little army there. It's just running through my lands. I can now see all of these people down here. Oh my gosh. For my people's part, welcome. Can I make trade with any of you? Oh, let's see if we can trade with England. Talking about trade. Trade with England again. In our good name, yes. Welcome and and I want some money out of you for it. I will give a receptive ear to your words. Oh, it's a very expensive trade agreement for you, England. There we go. There we go. Welcome. Oh, and we can friend. get trade with Castile I as well. Oh, yes. Honor both your people and ours. Castile, you do not know you're about to make the deal of the century. Have you not noticed? Well, yeah, we'll have that as well on non-aggression. But I, I want trade. And I want to get a lot of money out of you. Okay, maybe not that much money. Just trade with me. And then... There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Portugal. My salutations trade with you as well. Wishes of our people to you and yours. They're very weak. Of oh my gosh. You You're a weak economy. There we go. That's it, That'll improve your economy. Just I believe it. You on and then the trade. And give ear to your words. You have a strong economy, but that's apparently too strong. Oh my gosh, look at that. And the Marinade, uh, the Marinade Sultan have actually, like, settled. They've taken Seville. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. And the Almohad's basically all gone. Yeah, the Almohad's are off Spain. Oh no, they got Granada still. They still have Granada. I don't think I can trade with Navarre. Because I don't have, like, a land border with them. And, yeah, that's kind of everyone I can trade with, I think. That's pretty good. I'm sure that's, like, boost my economy massively. Yes, it has. For battle. And I think I'm going to fight this. I'm not going to sit around and wait for them. I have more archers in them. So I can play the skirmish game. They have got these mounted crossbows. But I think we can win this fight if we play this correctly. So uh, yeah, I am going to see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. So we're on the battlefield. And as you can see, we've not got much setting up to do. So we can just start the battle as we wait for our allies to appear from behind us. So we'll just fast forward, I think, now. Uh, these guys are actually moving forward. Reinforcing troops. Reinf too Reinforcement troops, indeed. Um, I'm going to try and play... I know I attacked them, but I'm going to try and play, like I said, defensive. Probably try and, uh, like, out-skirmish these guys. These are, guys are archers, sergeants. But they might be fools and not go into loose formation. So, uh, there's always that. Um, obviously they have the better cavalry, well not better cavalry, but they have more of it, they have mounted sergeants, they've got Polish little knights, I don't realize the Pomeranians are Polish knights. Get your own knights! What have we got here, mounted sergeants, got a general, and more mounted sergeants, okay they've only got one unit of knights, that's kind of reassuring to be fair. Uh, I'm gonna put you out here, governor, um, actually yeah, I'm gonna put all my cavalry, uh, I say I'm gonna put all my cavalry on one flank, I was about to say that. Changed my mind basically instantly, let's go to normal speed. Uh, let's get the crossbows in loose formation, out the front. 
And then let's get the shock in between behind, and that can call a support wherever it's needed. They're actually just generally going to bring forward their mount sergeants like madmen. Oh no, they changed their mind now. They changed. I mean, these uh, mount of crossbows, I'm pretty sure, are easy to gun down, but that's with full units of crossbows yourself. Um, this could be an interesting one. It's not really my favorite, the balance of power, but get a general gen general kill. That'd be nice. Let's just pull back this general. Pull back. Uh, let's put these spears into shield wall for now. Make it a little bit tougher for the uh, AI to just shoot my men. And then all of you just start shooting guys. And here come the cavalry. Shock infantry in. And archers retreat. What's this? Mount sergeants? Yeah, they were never going to win that fight. Get out of combat, sergeant uh, peasants. Actually, all fall back. Please all fall back. Just all fall back. What are you doing? Get out of here. And there you go. I mean, we're going to win this. This is what we're in here now. Mount sergeants again. Fools, stop sending in your sergeants to die. Uh, and then you can fight there. Actually, no. You're going to need to come around here. You can fight there. And you can come forward. And you can come there. You can get out. Cav. And then archers, fire at them. Uh, crossbows, fire at them. Crossbows, fire at them. Archers, fire at them. And then we can just send in this cap. I'm going to do a little flank onto these uh, spears here. Boom, into the side. That'll do a lot of damage. There we go. All that infantry's gone. Uh, spears go in there. Shot go in there. Cavalry, get out, because you're about to get charged. And then this shock needs to spawn my cav. Oh, nice. You actually intercepted that cav. Nice, nice, nice. Crossbows, get back. You fools. And we're just piling in so much stuff in here. That's a really good win there. Keep piling in the stuff, man. Crossbows, fire at stuff that's, like, useful. Get these guys up here, and I don't know. I don't know what we need. To, what we need to say. This cab needs to move. He's just getting shot standing here. Charge these spears. Just make sure they break. Where's my general? He could come up. See if we can chase down these mounted crossbows while we're here. No, it's a charge down. These breaking knights instead. They need killing. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Kill this unit. Kill this mountain sergeant unit. For sure. For sure, kill that. What's this? This is the Polish knights. We need to kill these guys off. Need to kill these guys off. Men are breaking, but that's fine. Shoot down these mountain sergeants for me. Kill everything here. Raise the banner. Hold the banners high indeed, men. For God's sake, don't let the banner fall. There you go. That's what he, that's what he'll be shouting. There you go. The cab's gone. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, and get you out of here. Get you in here. Spears over here. We're going to win this fight. And Pomerania can go shove its ass back to Kadansk. Chop these guys down. We got them. We got them. Nice, 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 nice. Here, we got these goddamn axe. Uh, no, crossbows in combat. Excellent. Shoot the their archers. Make sure they die. Oh, we haven't got their gen. We haven't got their gen. Oh, and you stopped at the wrong moment, pal. Oh, I say that. He's still got a decent charge off. You still got a decent charge. You fool. Stop killing my... Stop going after my gen. Oh, he's now overwhelmed. He's now overwhelmed. 
<laughs> he's just getting in here. Look at him. Polish general. On his own, he's Pomeranian general. I mean, he's technically Polish. Enemy general dead. Excellent. Well, you shoot. Just shoot these goddamn archers for me, please. Chase these archers so they don't, just can't shoot you. I mean, most of these guys are just militia. Like, uh, like my garrison sucks. They don't really care for their lives. And there you go. I mean, that's basically the battle. Let's just run down these archers quickly. And they did go into loose formation, though, if you were interested. They did do it. Oh, this guy's got the second win. I'd wondered who had it. Oh, yeah, second win's broken in this game because it just does it for a radius. It's not like Rome 2 where it's just for one unit. Yeah, that's kind of broken. They should not. That should be definitely have changed. But there you go. Archer Sergeant's getting run down. Oh, by cavalry. The general bodyguard just mopping up. Uh, archers stop firing. There are some guys in here that I care about, like the Spears. I care about the Spears' lives. And there we go. End the battle. A close victory. A close victory and another victory for this general, Dieter, here. He's doing a very good job. I need to get Jürgen an army. He can make the Imperial Army, the Royal Army. We can make that in Breunschwig, probably. It's probably where the best spot with all my uh, best troops are. Imperial Ritter. Oh, yeah, if we had an entire army of Imperial Ritter, that would, or dismounted Imperial Ritter, that would be nice. That would be very, very nice. And a lot of cav. So we could have Imperial Ritter. But yeah, you can see the Poles are here next. They're ready. They, they, want, they want to come for the next round. Uh, that's fine. It's. I think I can just send my army. I could send the sergeants off, like Poznan was under siege, but there we go, just repair all this. It's not even really a, not even an issue. My economy. Um, and then, yeah, what do I want? Wittenberg? Yeah, you can build whatever you fancy. The fanciest church. Uh, or we could go with like a Catholic priory. I'll go with a Catholic church, I think. We'll go down that route there. And uh, yeah, and now we kind of, oh, you data needs his uh, upgrades. Can't forget his upgrades. Um, I mean, his integrity is pretty good, so I'm going to go down campaign movement range first. So then he can uh, start debating about besieging um, Gdansk. Let's build up this army now. So uh, I'm going to put in some... I could put in some pikes, but they're very risky of being like just shot by archers. I'm going to put in some uh, axe sergeants who have some shock. The sergeant crossbows are really good when I've used them. Mounted sergeants, I'd rather not. Uh, we do need to get some cabins army. Um, I'm going to just put in some spear sergeants as well. Yeah. Put in a unit of spear sergeants. And then that's just recruiting ready. Um, I may have to cancel these um, sergeants here if the Poles decide to siege me out. If they do, that's fine. This garrison is a veteran garrison. They'll do just fine. The Danish, I'm not sure where they're going. But uh, they're just making themselves closer to my lines here. Can I also just persuade one of you to just join the war against Denmark? Welcome, and let us be honoured by your attempt. No, who really hates the Danish then? You kind of hate the Danish. In our good oh no, you. Be welcome you really hate the. Speak in you really French. hate the Hanseatic League. They're I'm all with Hanseatic League. Team. Oh, okay. Did not even realise. Um, I'm not liked by the Hanseatic League either, so it wouldn't Greetings be out of my interest to kill them. And so forth. And they're allied to Norway. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, they very much might be someone that we might want to annex, actually. Just take Hamburg for ourselves. Because they're not liked by anyone in the Empire. And oh, we definitely could push for an Imperial Diet right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the turn. Oh, we have a lot of skills we need to do, apparently. Otto, you can have public order gain and then construction cost, I guess, go down. Um... And then we've got, we may still assign us provincial governor in Mecklenburg. Oh, yeah, because we've just taken it. Um, anyone in my core that could do it? I could give it to Le Leopold here. Um, you can be Mecklenburg. I don't even know if you've got even good traits. Nothing terrible. Put it like that. Um, let's give you public order. And then let's also give you... Um, let's give you, like, heraldic shield, I guess. There you go. I mean, the Imperial family is growing very nicely, put it like that. Though my uh, my my boy Otto has not had any children yet. I'm very upset. Hmm. Very upset. Mecklenburg, have growth. And trade. And then there was one more I think we needed to do. Herbert needed some skills. There you go. Uh, you can have authority and then zeal. And there we go. We're good to go. We are good to go. 
And this, I mean, yeah, I mean, what do we do now? Take out the Poles, possibly. Um, probably try and deal with the Danes, with their army that's sieging us. I like that France is just holds Leon now. The France, French have just been reduced to one city, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here come the Danes. Here they come. They're going to come and try and siege Frankfurt. Look at them, thinking they're all clever. It's fine. I'll just go and break their armies. Somehow, I'll do it. I don't know how, but we'll do it. I don't know what my garrison's like. Could do it with that, possibly. Uh, let's get some money. Actually, hi. Join war against Denmark, please. Oh, you would happily join the war against Denmark, apparently. Do you hate them? As much as me? Because I certainly hate them. There you go. Uh, Upstyle Boone wants me to join the war against them. I will at another point, I think. And you're going to come and take Stralsund. You're going to try and attack the harder one. Fool. Ah, oh, you took killed my Imperial Ritter. What a... What a madman. I mean, what a horrible man. Well, mad and horrible. That's annoying. It's not going to be a full stack now. I'll send him back. Frankfurt. Did they just get destroyed? Faction, yeah, Norway's destroyed. Good. Magnus is dead. No, is that my brother? Yeah, Magnus just died. No. My beloved brother. And there's Otto. There he is. The old scallywag. 58, he died. Called, the, called it a day. Uh, well, I mean... He wasn't the best ruler, but he wasn't also the worst. Put it like that. Um, where's Heribert? Can we give you... Yeah, we can make you a provost. Let's do that. Make... Oh, yeah. Look at my economy. just takes an absolute L. When it's... Um, when we're under siege. I mean... What's Charleston's garrison like? Oh, it, oh Charleston's garrison is really good. Um, I will cancel these guys, and I'm just going to move south. Yeah, I'm going to take some attrition going through here. But I need to get to my army. Uh, replenishment's really good. And I could do with integrity and maybe... Oops, I don't know. Raiding? No. Me melee attack, melee defense, missile range, ammunition. Charge bonus? Yeah, why not? Why not? Broinsvig had an upgrade. Uh, I've got nothing here that's... I mean, that's making Imperial Ritter and Dismounted Imperial Ritter. Muster Grounds, which then gives us Jousting. Oh, no, I need a, a church place here, don't I? Because Cath Catholicism's going down. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I could put in uh, some Crusader units, though. That would be pretty cool. So there's always a plus out of it. You can see Frankfurt here is just busily just still building itself a, bit of, a bigger city. It doesn't even care. Uh, could I actually take this probably... What's the garrison like here? Uh, maybe. And honor! I mean, we both have one unit cav. I might be able to take that, you know. These are all Axe Bond here. And then I'll wait for the army to arrive. I'll wait for um, the big old Blades of Mercy to arrive. And then I'll hold here in Poznan. I need some archers in this army, so probably archers or crossbows. I might just get the uh, sergeant crossbows. They're better anyway. Poznan. Uh, we could put in a Catholic monastery. I'd rather have this as a... What's... Why? It gives me food, I guess, and sanitation. That's pretty good. But nothing like... That's nothing like end of the world. Uh, and then I kind of want to go down and find Venice and people like that eventually. They'd be handy to find. But we'll end the turn. We'll end the turn and we'll try and save Frankfurt. I mean, it's going to take like one turn to sort out the old economy again. As soon as Frankfurt gets hit, every like the economy just takes an absolute L. It's just like, no, that's it. You're finished. Oh, there you go. They've given up. They don't fancy their chances sieging down Frankfurt. I'm going to hunt that army down and I'm going to burn the Danes. Stralsen's pretty safe now. They can deal with a Danish incursion or a Polish incursion, in fact. The walls, I think, are pretty much rebuilt. Uh, Bologna? Yeah, sure, mate. We can have a... We can have a you're going to go try again. Oh, he's going for Poznan this time. We peace treaty with Pomerania. From our prosperity. I will take peace. I can't make you... No. <laughs> you know what? No. I was going to... 
offer it for a vassalization, but we can't vassalize you, so no. Um, I think because they're already a vassal of a Danish, which just makes it counterproductive, apparently. Rebuild everything. There we go. And, yeah, he, like, just cuts off my... He cuts off my, like, uh, economy for, like, one turn. That's all it does. I can now bring this guy down here. Um, I could have him... Enemy priest. I can manipulate him. Met target agent to join my cause. Yeah, why not? Let's see if we can do it. Uh, success. There we go. I don't think we actually achieved much, but you know what? That's fine. So if I take that priest out of there... Oh, that does a lot for... Why does that do a lot? I guess... Oh, devastation. Uh, and Catholic, uh, Catholicism just goes down if he's not in there. Okay. So uh, there is some sort of need to keep him here. We are also just being sieged here by the Poles. Go away. There you go. Stop sieging me down, stupid Poles. Just carry on starving. Stralsund, let's put in an actual castle so it can actually, like, sort of defend itself. And, uh, yeah, then we, like, are just growing up. We're going to get three. We'll probably put in a sanitation thing here first. Uh, because sanitation is not good. Or we could put in religion. What is the best choice? Eh, Catholic, Catholicism's going up. It's all right. Um, what is my... I mean, I'm light. I could do with a... could do with taking out some of these other people. I mean, yeah. Uh, Holstein... Uh, not Holstein. Um, Hanseatic League hate me. So we will uh, probably remove them. Everyone else, I think, is loyal. Look at these guys. Loyal, 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 loyal. Discontent, you have Pisa. Okay. Yeah, all of these guys are loyal, apart from Pisa. Let's see if we can get Pisa a bit more on the side. What do you want, Pisa? Alliance? Be welcome. Trade? Yeah, I can give you trade. Enjoy good Roman wine when we have agreement. It's a high high price for trade, though, when you uh, do deals with me. Military alliance? Yeah, let's do it. I should have actually just asked for more money. Why didn't I do that? You will find me a trade for you as well. For trade for you everyone, I say. Words, and I will answer. I like how they have a weak economy, but they can still afford to pay like 1800 and quite happily pay 1800 Fools. Uh, Silesia, do you want anything? Speak I could trade country. with you. Nope. Fair enough. I'm going to send this army when it's ready to go and deal with Gdansk. And uh, no, next turn, then I'll start building. I could do with building some Ritter, though. I could do with the Ritter. Um, it's this one as well that'll give me the Ritter as well. Strausen. So I could go across the border quickly, go and build some Ritter. Poznan's garrison can hold for a little while. Um, but yeah, and I don't really know what else there is really to do. Oh, has this guy got an upgrade? He has. Um, let's, I don't know, do cunning. And then corruption, yeah, bring corruption down. And then, I mean, Wittenberg's also got stuff he could do. He could become a uh, metropolis as well. I don't know if I really want to do that just yet. Uh, I don't know if I'll have the food to it to do that. So I'm just going to hold on that. I could do with obviously putting some food stuff into Stralsund as well, actually. Um, but yeah, that is where I think I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It has uh, been an enjoyable one, put it like that, for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've uh, taken Stralsund back. We've uh, defeated a few Polish armies. We're about to deal with a, uh, a Danish army as well in the, uh, in the next episode. And then it's kind of like, probably in the next episode, we're going to take on Pomerania, probably take out uh, the Danish as well. Um, but yeah, we're basically coming to an end of this campaign probably a lot quicker than we're going to come to an end of the uh, of the like, the Navarre one, uh, if you put it in comparison. Be most welcome. Oh, they want an alliance. I was just looking around. Um, but yeah, okay. Just have it for... Um, oh, wow. They'd actually rather have um, that than uh, a gift. Okay. Um, but yeah, so basically... Um, yeah, if you look at me, I'm basically friends with everyone. France have actually gone and taken Dijon, but I think they took out Burgundy. That's rude of them. Um, but yeah, I'm friends with everyone. I don't need to really go to war with these people. I don't really want to go to war with these people. Apart from possibly Hanseatic League. If you'd like me to see, like me take out like Denmark, Poland, Pomerania, and Hanseatic League, I might make peace with Sweden again. I don't want to have to go all the way speech up here. Your speech. But um, yeah, I'll take out these people and then I'll probably be the end of this campaign. This shouldn't take too long. I just need to deal with this army in the south and I can send this guy north. He can go and deal with the uh, Rocks, Clyde, and Gdansk. This army is just building up quickly to take on Gdansk. 
So yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty much wrapped up in the next few uh, turns, maybe a, an episode or two, and then this campaign will be over. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this campaign. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.